Welcome back. Well, uh, this is an understatement. She became a fan favorite on the first ever season of the mega hit, The Golden Bachelor on ABC. <laughs> Leslie, yeah. I haven't even, I haven't even said her name yet. I love it. Here, now I'll say her name. <laughs> Leslie Fema made it to the final round. <laughs> made it to the final round. Uh, thought she was going to get the rose, only to find Gary blindsiding her by choosing someone else. It was, it was heartbreaking, but a powerful moment. If you missed it, look. It's typical. My life, this is where I'm going. This is... Oh, no. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> no. No, don't think that. Doesn't matter, Gary, no offense. I don't... I can think whatever the I want. Yeah. Right now, I'm heartbroken once again. But now I have to do it in front of the whole world. Yeah. That's our girl. The way, the way Leslie was unapologetic and honest with her emotions uh, really resonated with uh, basically all of America. <laughs> and we're excited to welcome, because she's our buddy, give it up for Leslie Fema, everybody. Hi, <laughs> love. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> Thanks for that, by uh, the way. Oh, please. What, what was going... Let me ask you this. Did you honestly think... And I think I know the answer. As you're walking to do that scene, mm -hmm. or when you when you found out, what percentage in your head did you think Gary was going to pick you? A hundred percent. Seriously? Yeah. Or maybe ninety nine point nine. But yes. I mean, we had discussions, and and um, yeah, I did. I actually was the first time in the show where I was really. Um, 100% sure of something. I always was cautiously optimistic and, you know, I never wanted to presume anything, even on rose ceremony nights, you know, I just, I was always like, you never know what he wants and I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know. And I kind of knew and at that point, the only time. So it was, yeah, it was a little blindsiding. After that moment that we just showed that everyone uh, understandably <laughs> loved, once the cameras quit rolling, what did I, I wondered this too? What what did Gary say to you? Did he? Did, oh, he was gone. He left. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, it showed him leaving. He said, I, "I'll find myself out," and I said, "That's probably a good idea." And that was the last. <laughs> and that like, was the last time you saw him until the re, until the reunion. Yeah, yeah until the reunion. <laughs> um, what? Did you have any ap apprehension? So there's the end. Let's start to the beginning. Mm -hmm. Did you have any apprehension of doing the show? I didn't. I was just, you know, going for it. And I literally, the dating apps weren't working. So I thought I'd go on national TV. <laughs> you know, like, why not? You thought, you thought, <laughs> you, thought uh, you thought you'd go to ABC and yeah. have ABC help you. They had a good track record. I'm going to try that. No, um, I didn't really have any apprehension. I just went for it. And um, did yeah. you know pretty early on through the process of the audition, did you have a pretty good idea that the producers were digging you? Um, it's funny that you say that because there it was it ebbed and flowed. Like when I had my um, my interview with the casting agent. Yeah. I mean, I thought that's it. I'm in. I mean, he loves me. We clicked. We had we had like Terry Lewis. We went back to the old. You know, he's engaged to or now married to Ashley Terry Lewis's daughter, who I babysat when I was. You know, yeah. so it was like one of those There's things. There's a lot of connections. A lot of connections. Minneapolis connections. Um, so, yeah, but then we go through all of this, you know, to get on the show, you have to be completely vetted. And then after each test, I, you know, I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't pass that test. I didn't pass. So <laughs> it was, <laughs> I, I mean, we had to take, you know, like background check, medical check, the whole thing. I said, I'm 64. Something's not going to come back good. Um, <laughs> one of those things aren't going to come back good. <laughs> so <laughs> fingerprinting, you know. Yeah. Um, so I, 
but I, you know, it was a long process for me. Some girls applied in June and only had to wait a month. I applied in February, so I had to wait a long time. Where were you when you found out that you got it? I was at the dog park with my dog. Really? Yeah. Do they call? Do they email? How does that work? They called me. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Did you run back home or? No, I was I was at my my place, my home away from home, Unleashed, and I you know I live two minutes from there. I take my dog there all the time. It was a beautiful. We love Unleashed. Yeah, yeah. I love Unleashed. Um, it was a beautiful um, summer day in July, and I was sitting with my friend Adam, and I recognized the number because it was an LA number. I yeah. didn't have any name or anything, but every time an LA number popped up, I took it. And one day I, an LA number popped up and I was talking to some person I didn't even know. So, you know, I was cautious, like, okay, who am I talking to now? Um, but yeah, I took it and um, all the dogs are barking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the, the producer's probably like, where the hell are you? And um, yeah. So that was how I found out. From phone call, how long did they give you? Like, how? what is the turnaround? You get the call at the dog park. Mm -hmm. When do you have to be on a plane to L.A.? It was about two weeks. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it was fast. Uh-huh. It was fast. Maybe maybe a little over two weeks. I don't remember, but. How do you know what to pack? Well, they gave you a pack. <laughs> I know. I know I'm thinking of all the questions, and I'm thinking <laughs> watching the show. How do you know what to pack? That was the hardest. They gave you a packing list. Um, you know, it was the dresses. Like, I am not, if you have, anyone knows me, like my friend Denise is sitting in the front Hi, room. Denise. <laughs> she helped me through a lot of it. A lot of my friends, all of my friends, I was a wreck. But, you know, um, uh, I had to start borrowing dresses. Because how many do you need? Well, they said 11, but, you know, I probably had two in my closet. Like fancy um, ones? They, actually, we didn't have to have, we had to have one long dress. Um, and a lot of the women always wore a long dress, but I wore mostly, you know, to here. And yeah. um, my future daughter-in-law, Daphne, Eli's mm -hmm. future wife, um, who I love, she gave me some dresses and I'm like, I can't wear that, I can't wear that, I can't wear that. I mean, it's up to here, there's no back. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I did borrow some dresses and I ordered some, you know. More with Leslie when we come back. Back in a moment, everybody. Special guest today, we love her, our very own Leslie Fema from The Golden Bachelor. If you haven't guessed us, if you're watching us from our other cities like Chicago, Seattle, Orlando, uh, Leslie's our girl because, hello, she's a proud Minneapolis girl. So that's why, yeah. Yeah. And our show shoots in Minneapolis. Anyway, before the finale, Leslie and uh, Gary went on a hometown date here in Minneapolis. And Gary got to meet Leslie's whole family, including her brother, her three kids, and her grandkids. Uh, let's look a little, bit, a little bit about that. Is it true? Do you actually love my glamour? And are you actually yeah. a couple? I think it is true. I think you would be a very good couple. Why, thank you very much. Do you think I'd fit in the family? Uh-huh. Really? I think Lima really likes you. I think she does too. It's hard to see the chemistry that you guys have and think that it's not gonna go any <laughs> You guys have real like, chemistry. This is it. Yeah. Hopefully Gary's the one. My kids think Gary's a great guy and they can totally see us together. My children and my grandkids are feelers. They're sensitive, they're like me, they wear their heart on their sleeve, but that's what I love about our family. We say it like it is. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, your family does. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, full disclosure, uh, I, I know Eli, the son that was talking there. So I want to ask, um, I know uh, there's Eli right there. Hi, buddy. Um, come to Minneapolis, visit Maison Margot or, or Fema's Restaurant, two of the best restaurants here. There, oh, there's uh, Eli again. What was Eli's reaction when you told him, I'm going to be on ABC? Um, my kids were <laughs> they're like, okay, mom, that's so you. Yeah. Um, basically, they're like, of course you are. Um, they're, they were so supportive. I mean, un, I, my kids, you know, they were just right behind me all the way. They always had my back, and they were so supportive. And, um, you know, I'm like, you never know. I might be have a hometown date. I mean, I didn't know. Um, will you guys be on TV? They're like, of course we'll be on TV. So... 
<laughs> and they were. And they did. Can I tell you, I've, I said this on the show when we, when we covered, when we would talk about The Bachelorette, or when we talked about The Bachelor, they kept your secret really well. Yeah. Because I tried, I visit uh, Eli's <laughs> restaurant a lot. I go to Maison Margot, it's right by my house. I'm there a lot. Yeah. I tried every way I could <laughs> to get Eli to say anything, and he would just... Pat me on the head and walk right by, but yeah. What do you, so that leads me to this. What do you have to tell them? Are, are, and how hard is it to keep that secret, the secret for, how long did you have to keep secrets from them? Well, you have to understand when I'm on the show, I don't talk to them at all. I didn't even, I, I didn't even, when I caught to my hometown date, the first time I saw them was walking in to brick and mortar. And then after we were done filming, I couldn't, I could barely hang out with them for five minutes. That was it. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like jury duty. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I had to stay at a hotel downtown. I literally could almost see my apartment from my window. I'm like, I want to go home. You know, and um, my daughter lived around the corner and she's like, you know, I can't be with you tonight. I'm like, nope. Um, so that was hard. But um, then when I came home, they had to keep the secret for a month. Or no, actually two months. Two? Wow. Yeah. They, and your whole, fa you all are very social. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I mean, again, the restaurant industry, to keep that quiet, yeah. what did they really, um, what did, what was the reaction when Gary did what he did to you? What, were they, were they surprised too? You mean when I told them or when they watched it on TV? When they watched it on TV. No. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> My son Eli is a little bit like me. He cries and he definitely is a very sensitive person. Yeah and he was a wreck. And then my grandson, Yossi, was watching. <laughs> He's two, he was two, basically, and he goes, Glamma crying, I'll give Glamma a hug. Oh. <laughs> and that oh. broke, when he told me that broke my heart, I was like, oh my, I can't take it, I can't take it. And um, yeah. Because again, if you're connecting the dots, you can't tell them. No. They, they, you can't tell them in advance. They have to watch it and, yeah. and know about it when the rest of America finds out. Yeah, yeah. Was that hard, it just was, that dynamic? It was really hard. I mean, it, you know, I came home and I had to go back to my life and my work and teaching and doing all this. And everybody is like, what's going on? And then, you know, I work at the Fillmore and there's people yeah. and they're like, we know you won. And I'm like, well, first of all, it's not a contest. And second of all, you don't know anything. And, um, you know, and if I'm, if I'm in a picture and I'm sad, oh, she's sad. If I'm in a picture, I'm happy. Oh, she won. She's she happy. won. Absolutely. Yeah. So I can't, I couldn't win no matter what I did. So, oh my goodness. Yeah. We're going to take a break. Uh, <laughs> now Leslie can't say anything, but there are rumors about her. We're going to dance. She see there's an ABC sniper literally right there <laughs> waiting to take me out. We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so $25,000. Is that the fine? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Welcome back. So, are you the Golden Bachelorette? I don't know. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm kidding. No. I swear I don't no. know. Let, we can't say anything. I don't believe. And again, there's an ABC guy with a the sniper right there willing to take me out. But it has to feel good. It has to feel good that you came out of that season really darn popular. Like people were really rooting for you. Did you feel that? Um, I did. Like my producer said to me after Gary left and all that stuff. He said, Leslie, everybody in America is going to want to give you a hug. And then one day I actually called him up. I said, oh my God, you're right. Because I was in Trader Joe's and some woman stopped me and started crying <laughs> and, and gave me a hug. I'm in Costa Rica. People are hugging me. I mean, it is, it is kind of A crying true. woman in Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. Oh. I know. That got me. I felt so bad. I'm like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry over the avocados. It's okay. Please, yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope you don't mind that I'm asking about this because there's the good side. What surprised you? What 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 did you not expect from this whole experience? Um, well, I mean, I, there's it's kind of a double-edged sword. I didn't expect the love, yeah, and the people that again hugging me in Trader Joe's and call, you know stopping me on a street and wanting to take a picture and um, being in Costa Rica on a beach and people I'm in a hat and with mud hair and people recognize me. I mean that 
surprised me. The, the online bullying surprised me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the amount. Because mm -hmm. you're on a national show and you mm -hmm. think, okay, mm -hmm. is it constant? Do you mind if I ask? Yeah, it is. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's bad and, you know, it, you, you, we're, we're 60 to 75 year old women and we're not immune to it. And, um, you know, and I just like, oh my gosh, you're only seeing one dimension, I'm one dimensional on TV, you don't know me, you don't know what I've been through, you don't know my life, you don't, and, you know, so that, um, the, the edit, you know, there's editing in the show. Because you were on The Bachelor last night, and it probably mm -hmm. brought a whole new yeah. round of people. Mm -hmm. I always mm -hmm. go like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there you are right there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And that just brought a whole new round of people. Yeah, And it it's like, people have to, it's just, a, it's a TV show. Mm -hmm. It's a TV. I mean, I know it's your real life, but yeah. simmer down. Yeah. It's like, yeah. get a life. Yeah, and, and again, it's like, they're so, we filmed so much and so much is not shown. Yeah. And so. Um, Conversations are edited down. Edited off. Edited completely gone. And edited, Context. Yes. Yes. And so you're, you're not putting the pieces together sometimes because. It's all of a sudden from one thing to another. And, you know, it's a little frustrating, but I, it's what I signed up for. And Okay, just, and I'm really, and I mean this, and I wouldn't do this to you because I love you. I'm not trying to trick you into, <laughs> and Leslie really doesn't know anything. But let me just ask you this. Knowing what you know now, would you be a little more, because you were like all gung-ho mm -hmm, into it, mm -hmm. would you be a little more trepidatious now? I mean, it's really hard, Jason, because it's like... And again, you know I'm not trying to... No, I, I really... I, no, I totally understand. Yeah. Um, I, you want to be authentic. You want to be real. You you do feel your feelings. And I always think back, maybe I shouldn't have said that. And maybe mm. I, you know, like last night, I was... Something got taken out of context. And But when you're talking, when you're in it, you don't think about the editing. You don't think about all that. You're just feeling your feelings. And I really yeah. wanted to be organic on the show. I didn't want to be like contrived you know, yeah yes yeah yes um, that's what people yeah well so we, we have about 30 seconds left what would your advice be to someone thinking about this um just again be authentic um go with your heart lead with your soul have fun and sometimes be careful what you say because <laughs> after you sign you don't have a say in it so <laughs> <laughs> when how uh, do you get the episodes like a couple days before they debut? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. What? No. <laughs> really? Because like on Bravo with Housewives, they get them a few days. You watch it when everyone watches it. Mm -hmm. We get pictures. <laughs> oh, thanks for the Polaroid, ABC. Yeah. <laughs> so were no. you nervous every oh. air, air air night? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like how am I gonna look today? Yeah. Yep, and it's high definition camera, which is not good with bright sunlight. You just like, oh my god, I, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it was it was a little. Well, wash out, block out the negative because you. <laughs> I can say this with confidence: you have an entire region uh, that supports you, and their voice matters way more than the losers that email you crap. Yeah, I, seriously, get a life. <laughs> Leslie Fema, everyone, we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back, back in a moment, back in a moment. Thank you, love. I appreciate it so much. Thank you.